Joining us now in the specialties hot to- uh, hotline, a team from my favorite town, Aronikway, where I work. Uh, Aronikway Baseball joins us. Uh, second year coach Joey Kuhn joins us, along with seniors Nick Calarco and Joe Wintermute. And you guys are having a terrific season, heading to sectionals, 14 and 3 record. Monroe County Division Three champs at 8 and 0. I think in two years, like as coach Joey Kuhn, 17 and 1, something like that in division play. Pretty impressive stuff. So, uh, Congrats on what you've done so far. Coach Kuhn, let me ask you this. Nick Sears, Chad Gartland, DeJohn, you had some horses a couple of years ago. Did you think this team had this kind of season in it so far? If, you, if, you, if I asked you this two months ago, could you have predicted this? You know, Jeff, we lost a lot. Those three guys are amazing and amazing kids. Um, I didn't know what we were going to have. Missing last year, I think – a lot of teams didn't know. We had two kids with varsity experience that played up as sophomores. So the rest of my team had never played varsity baseball. So I was unsure. I, I was, I was like, I, I really don't know how we're going to be. And I really didn't know how everybody else was going to be. Um, I knew we didn't have anybody like Jackson, Chad and Nick, no offense guys. Um, but we do have a thicker team and, and we're not as top heavy. We're, we, we fill the lineup out a little bit better and, and we're good everywhere. So, and we hit better. So. Uh, Joey, one of the coolest moments of this season, at least in my mind, was uh, your senior day, the Chuck Tisa game against Eastridge, when you threw a no-hitter. And a no-hitter is special anytime, but crosstown rival in a game for a coach that meant a lot to you um, had to be extra special. Can you take us back to that day and kind of recap your memory and your emotions from that game? Yeah, you know, it was very special to get the win against an ex-coach of me and Nick's and uh, – doing it for coach TC you know he taught us pretty much everything we know since we were little kids so it was good to go out there and get that one for him yeah it was an amazing day 12 strikeouts 13 nothing victory um coach Coon, before we go to Nick Clark let me ask you about Chuck TC and what he meant to you uh, actually obviously a long time uh, head coach at Eastridge came over the last several seasons uh, before passing uh last June um to be an assistant here at uh, Ronicoid High School what did he mean to you, and why did you have this game set up? I mean, Chuck was the best. I, I was a little kid when he was the head coach at Eastridge and went to his camp and then got the chance to play against him on the varsity level. And then when I came in as assistant in Aronicoit, he was there, and he was always the guy who put his arm around you and had that quiet conversation with guidance and, and, and advice and encouragement. So I spent a couple of years as a volunteer assistant on varsity, and Chuck would always pull me aside and give me encouragement even when I was feeling down and, you know, coach Taylor was with us too at around Coit, and I'd reached out to coach Taylor. I'm like, Hey, listen, Chuck coached a long time at East around the Coit, coach a long time at West around the Coit. Why don't we name our game in Chuck's honor every time we play? It just made so much sense because of the impact he's had on both sides of this town in baseball. So it was, it was too easy to figure that out. And, and Chuck is the best. His whole family was, there. It was a really cool moment. Um, Nick Clarko, you were there, obviously. You've had a great senior season, a quarterback on a a football team that went undefeated in the regular season. What has been so special about this group in these these close games, all these seven one-run wins, Nick, and then the poise you guys have shown? Where does that come from? I don't know. It shows a lot of maturity in the young kids. Got a lot of grit when it comes to, you know, being in the, like, spots to help us win in the close games. Four walk-off wins. That's pretty exciting stuff, too. Um, Coach Kuhn, do you do a lot of situational stuff in practice? I got to give you a little credit here. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool the way you guys are winning these close ones. You know, I, I went through it. We have seven one-run wins, and in six of those wins, we never trailed. So we've had the lead in, in most of the games and held on for dear life. As far as practice goes, we, we do some situational stuff at the end, but we have our everyday drills that we have for every position, for hitting and, and for base running. And we hit those three stations every day. And at the end, we spend a little time working on situational baseball, but but we try to really grind through our our, our drill work with our positions, and and that's the basis of what we do at practice, and it's been effective for us. Nick Clarko, what's the confidence level of this team right now? Um, Because of those close games, you know, sometimes, you know, it's good that you know you can do it, but sometimes, too, you know, you play with fire and you get burned. So um, where does this team come through on that? Uh, I think it's, uh, pretty nice that we have some kids that like, when it comes into sectionals that aren't going to be afraid to be in uncomfortable situations, you know what I mean? 
like yesterday, I was saying that we had uh, bases loaded twice with, I think it was one out or none, and we got through both innings, no runs. You guys got a lot of talent. Like Coach said, deeper than you, you probably have been in some years. 343 team batting average, if memory serves me correctly. Terrific shortstop, great out on athlete, Jaleel Davis. Joe Winter, I want to ask you about your catcher, Connor Grezens, a sophomore. Uh, have you worked with him much over the last few years, or is this a new battery for you two? So I've gotten to know him during summer ball. We played badly together, and, uh, you know, I just trust everything he's going to call, and I guess I did it good that day. And he called great pitches and just great, great mixes, and I just trust him with everything. Tell me about these guys, Coach Boone. Tell me about Joe Wintermute and Nick Clark and what they bring to the team, especially Joey. I mean, is either one of these guys your ace or is it one and one A? Listen, I think they'll they'll have an argument in front of you about who's the ace. And, and I love that about them. Like, hey, why is he getting the ball today? Hey, give it to me. And, and that's one thing I love about both these guys. They're gritty. Uh, Joey's ERA is under 1.5, and he's been on the mound a lot. And Nick came off throwing the, the football for a while. I didn't get him a start till Memorial Day. Um, I used him only out of the pen and, and he had his first start Monday because I know we're going to need to start him in sectionals um, and his ERA is under one. So I trust these guys on the mound in pressure situations and they want the ball and they're not afraid to, to be on the mound in tough situations. So it's great having seniors like that who have known a long time and want the ball in pressure situations. And I can't call either one my ace. They can argue about it themselves and they, let's see how it goes in sectionals. Joey, what, how did you fall in love with baseball? Um, I mean, my dad taught me ever since I was three years old, pitch, hit, and run, you know, and catch. Uh, just the, the competitiveness, you know, uh, just going there every day, trying your hardest, and you just want to get the good results, so. Nick, how about you? Where's your passion for the game come from? Um, I don't know, same as Joey. Fell in love with it when I was young. I love competing every day. It could be anything. It could be gym class, and I want to win. That's how it is in baseball. I get a sense from watching him on the sideline a few other bit. Coach Kuhn wants to win that way too. Joey, this is your alma mater. How great is it to? It's only. It's really your, only your second season as head coach because you lost last year. But how great is it to be coaching your 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 high school? Listen, it's my dream job, Jeff. I tell the kids all the time. I I always wanted to be the head coach at Ironicoy High School, and and I got to pinch myself because I I am. Um, so it's exciting for me every day to go to around the court where I went to school. I've grown up. I still live in the town, you know, and, and get to coach these kids at, at the field I played at. Like it's my dream job and I can't wait to continue coaching here and, and seeing these kids develop throughout the program. It's, it's, I, it's surreal for me, honestly. Nick, what's it like to play for coach Kuhn, somebody that grew up in the program and obviously has a lot of pride and passion for it. I think it connects to us, you know what I mean? Like he's been there before, so he knows like what to tell us and what like situation, you know what I mean, in each game. Joe, what are me, what, what, 10 years from now, what will you think about when I say Coach Kuhn? What comes to, what will you think will come to mind first? Energetic. Uh, he tells us every day, bring your own energy. And we know that he's going to do that and we got to do it ourselves. And like we were down 9-1 against Aquinas and that was the loudest dugout I've better, ever been a part of. So, I mean, it's rubbed off on us and it's got us this far. So we got to keep rolling with it. Both losses to Athena and then one to McQuaid. No shame in any of those. Athena was the one seed a couple of years ago. Joey, you guys had a really good team. You lost to Canandaigua in the semis, right? Mm -hmm. um, handicap this year's tournament, Joe Kuhn. What do you think? I'm sorry, what was the question, Jeff? Handicap this year's tournament, Class A1. Listen, I think it's wide open. I mean, Athena's got a player who's probably going to play in the majors someday. So that's something you got to consider. And uh, I, I don't know if anybody else has that type of player. Um, but it's going to be an interesting one. Um, the seedings are still up in the air in terms of one through three. We could be anywhere one, two, or three. Um, but it's a 16-team tournament. It's not an 18 tournament like it's been in the past. And you got to win four games. And everybody throws their best pitcher in sectionals. So... There's no gimmies. We've got to go out there and try to win Monday so we get a chance to play Wednesday, and, and, and that's all we can think about right now. Coach, well, what, I think, what, go ahead, Steve. What does your team need to do? Does it need to keep doing what it's done all season, or are there any areas you want to focus on um, upping at a level or two in sectionals? 
You know, like I've talked about, we've gotten the lead in a lot of games and then held on for dear life. We haven't quite been able to pile on and, and win games without having to sweat them out. You know, we'll get up 4 nothing in the first inning and win 4-3 like we did on Wednesday or, or get up 3 nothing and win 4-2. We've done that type of um, – we've done that all year. And I'd like to, when we get the lead, pile on a little bit more. And we need to play cleaner defensively. Um, this is a different team than I've coached in the past. It's not – go throw a shutout, Nick, Chad, and Jackson, and, and we'll try to get one or two runs. Um, it's more like, hey, these guys are hitting 343. We're going to score a little bit, hopefully. And, and we got to play cleaner defense behind our pitchers because we're going to see everybody's number one. That's how sectionals go. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I think it'd be about 21 years for section for Ronnie if if you were to pull off a championship. And I think over Coach Kuhn's shoulder in our Zoom room, it says, no better day. And I know that man says that phrase quite a bit. Guys, the guy's Listen, gonna get Jeff, right hold here. on. 21 years ago, I was sitting on the right field line around Coit McQuaid. I was a seventh grader playing Mod B. Tommy Zaccardo hit a home run at Frontier Field over the right field wall to win 2-1 against McQuaid. That's the last time we won sectionals. Guy's got a memory, too. Just no, no more gray hair for that man, all right? We don't want that curly hair turning gray. So, <laughs> hey, Coit baseball, obviously I wish you the best of luck. Let's have a day here. Let's have about three or four of them left in the rest of, rest of the season, all right? Yes, sir. We got you there. Good luck. Hey, thanks fellas. for having us, guys. All Thank right. You. Ron Akoi Baseball right here on the Connors and Ferris High School Sports Show brought to you by Salvatore's Pizza. We'll take a break. Come back with more on Fox Sports 1280.